it out. All right, guys, we are going to talk some science today. So the board, right? We have a lot of things written on here. And the one thing we're going to talk about today specifically is comp versus fitness. Uh, so we have certain athletes that are using those competition weights or those competition volumes, and we have certain athletes that are using those fitness weights and fitness volumes. Now, the reason we have those two is everybody's kind of at a different uh, level fitness-wise. Now, one thing that we might be noticing is I'm, I'm talking to some of you, and I know Sarah and Chris are talking to some of you about adding an extra few pounds, maybe adding an extra few reps on something that you might be scaling more often. And today we want to explain why we're looking at that, right? And I'm going to blow your mind real quick. Intensity is the independent variable most commonly associated with maximal rate of return for favorable adaptations. So basically all we're saying with that is the harder you work, the better results you're going to get. Now we do want to talk about this mathematically. I'm going to leave a lot of things out like body weight, how far we're moving the weight. So we're going to have very objective whole numbers so it's a little bit simple so we can understand. So we're going to come this way. So we're going to talk about Fran or in, specifically we're going to talk about thrusters. Now let's say uh, I'm doing a 95 pound thruster, I'm doing 45 reps, and we're going to say that I'm just moving the weight one foot per rep, and I know I'm moving it more than that, but we're going to keep it simple, right? Over the course of those 45 reps, I moved 4,275 pounds. Now let's say that took me two minutes to do, okay, two minutes to do those 45 reps. What I have here is I moved 2,137 pounds per foot per minute. All right, so pretty simple, because remember, we're keeping it lame as far as the distance moved, right? Now, let's say, and we're going to stay in the comp area, let's say that the same loading took me eight minutes. My power output dropped drastically, it went 534 pounds per foot per minute. Now, my power output, like I just said a minute ago, intensity is how fast are we moving heavy weight. So if I'm doing this, yes, I'm doing the same overall loading, but the thing that we are trying to do in CrossFit is intensity and power, which means I'm not getting that desired effect, right? Or am I getting that intensity effect? So now we look back down to a scale. So now we're scaling. So you know what? I'm not necessarily ready for this. It's taking me too long. I'm gonna do 65 pounds instead, right? I'm gonna do 45 reps still, because that's what we asked for. And my overall loading, not a crazy difference, about 1,200 pounds off, we moved 2,925 pounds. Now let's say that took me two and a half minutes, so I just shaved off like four or five minutes there, right? I'm putting out 1,170 pounds per foot per minute. So I'm almost doubling my power output from the eight minute at 95, that I am for the 65 with only two minutes. So again, we're still getting a better desired effect at that level of intensity because we're scaling the load. Now check it out. If we add, uh, if we say we get a little bit more efficient at 65 pounds, right? And now I'm only taking two minutes. Just taking 30 seconds off, I've increased my power up by another 300 pounds. Now this is where we get more when we want to start advancing our skill. Once I start to notice that I'm moving two minutes, with that 65 pounds, there's only so fast I can move. So now what's the next step? I can't move any quicker. There's only so fast the human body can move. Now I go to that 95, or in this case, maybe I go 70, 75, and I try to maintain this average output. Now, all that being said, guys, there's absolute and there's relative intensity. This is the absolute intensity. It's the heaviest I can move, the fast I can move it, right? This is the relative intensity, right? I'm getting decent power output. I'm still maintaining that same time range that I'm looking for to get the level of the, the response that I want at a slightly lighter load. And as I get better, I move closer and closer and closer to that absolute intensity. So when we look at those comp and those fitness weights, remember that fitness, even if we're below that, we're, we have these goals that we're reaching toward because as we improve, we want to increase our power output. Hopefully that makes a lot of sense. Maybe you guys think I'm really smart now. I'm not. Be better starting now. See you guys later.